Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir. I'm back in my video number 5. So you have seen my 4 videos before. Here I'm showing you my AWS console. So what we are doing here, looking at EC2 instances. So far, I did not export any image yet. So you won't be able to see any instance running. So far you see here a zero instance. So what we need here, we need Amazon machine images uh, available first. So uh, initially I imported my image from my own prem machine to S3 bucket. Now I am as per video number four migrating or importing that S3 image back into my AWS console. So if you look at under my AMIs or Amazon machine images, I don't see any image yet. And this is my region, US West. So attempt which I am uh, performing or doing is that to import my image of my own prem machine, which is now about 19% completed. Uh, into my AWS console as an image. So that is my uh, original on-prem machine. So I am running this command to check where we are now. So I am in converting stage. Now you can see I am one step ahead. I am in booting stage. So this is my architecture x86 underscore 64. This is my bring your own BYOL device license type. And the platform is Windows. We are approximately at 39% completed. You see my disk image size. Uh, you also can see my S3 bucket key and current status, which is booting. So while we talk, actually on the back end, everything is working. So let's check one more time after booting where we are now. So we are at preparing Amazon machine image stage now. So preparing AMI. So we are very close to complete the process. So again, a brief overview that I had on-prem virtual machine which I had exported the image of that virtual machine into my Amazon S3 bucket. So I created a bucket in my previous videos, S3 bucket in my AWS console. The only image that I have here uh, in my uh, AWS S3 bucket is this machine image which is now completed uh, the next step is that now we are going to look at ami in aws console because we just have completed this 100 percent again i am showing you my status here what is the architecture and what is the operating system which is windows 8 and my license type also my task id AMI ID number. So you will recognize this ID. So this is the first machine I ever exported from my on-prem into my S3 bucket. Now from S3 bucket to my AMI. Now if I refresh my AMI, uh, I will not still see my uh, EC2 instance because I did not convert AMI into EC2 instance so currently you see that we have zero running instance in my aws so i am planning to have this ami as ec2 instance so this is the one we just brought into our aws console once we complete the process from my command line and you can see that i do have now one ami available so Next step is that you can directly provision EC2 instance. Uh, you cannot see any EC2 yet at this time, but you have to uh, launch the instance and 
you have to choose AMI image, but you have only one right now. So I am using this image. Then I will use a second image as well for a same machine with a different name. Uh, that I will do uh, offline. So in this way, uh, you need to know the process which you already know. Now I am launching. Let's go to check my AMIs in the quick start left side. Here you see one image and as I showed you before, my AMI ID, Amazon machine image ID ending with F4D3. So you all uh, can see uh, the options what we have. This is a Windows 8. I can select as a free tier. This is a T2 micro. It is good for one year. You don't have to pay as long as it, it stays under 30 gigabyte hard drive size. So here I had uh, 22 gigabyte my hard drive size. So for now I can leave this as default. You can add your tag uh, in next screen. Here I am not going to change from solid state drive. General purpose 2. Uh, 22 gigabyte. I want to keep it under 30 gigabyte. Here you can add your name. Uh, I can add a tag and then give them a name appropriately. So this is a customized name. You can choose any name up to 256 characters. So here we have AWS, I mean uh, Windows 8 underscore migrated. You have a choice here to use existing security group or you can create your own security group. So here, uh, this is up to you uh, if you can use uh, existing security group which you have configured before or default group, uh, it up, it's up to you. So have you configured that group? So did you allow uh, traffic port numbers uh, to let users come in from outside into this machine using RDP. So you, I will configure as an RDP and you will be able to see that one. So far you can see here, a, it is the whole configuration what you can see, uh, which can tell you where we are now. We can launch this machine. You have to create a key pair first time. So I am using very common name which I used to use, uh, my key or my key one, something like that. So you can choose any name you want to. Just make sure that you know what you are, uh, what name you are using. So my key one is very straightforward, simple. It will be a PEM format file that you can download under your download folder. So currently I will leave at download, but uh, offline I will save this key into a different location for my own uh, convenience in, other, in other words okay so now we are launching first ec2 instance on this aws console so as i am mentioning here i am going to add a second host offline from my vmware workstation as an ovf or ova file so currently you don't see any running instance because it is in initial stage now uh, i am provisioning right now so it will take about maybe one or two more minutes to uh, have it available and you will be able to see now you can see under the instances you can see the instance is popping up all right so uh, now you have a couple of more options to look at your instance i'm showing you my uh, key uh, pem file uh, you can use this file uh, as existing key in your second instance or second AMI image. But currently you can see that I have an instance ID and I have my public IP address. I have my uh, private IP address. I have my public IPv4 DNS and I have my uh, private IPv4 DNS. So what we're gonna use here, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use a public IP address 5288551112 to access this host using a remote desktop protocol RDP before we have to actually configure this one. So uh, 
this is my video number five in video number six we will access that but before that I will show you where you can go and uh, allow your console uh, from quick setup to have your RDP uh, ready on the back end I have done already my second image as well so if you look at this AWS system manager screen and SSM agent that is important uh, to configure SSM agent that you can see right now uh, that has to say succeeded so currently they are all pending while I will start my new video till that time uh, I did some optional uh, options as well uh, enable and uh, you also can see SSM agent configuration will be enabled once this is enabled from the quick setup if you can't find you can find from uh, your services uh, then you can easily can go and uh, uh, launch your new AWS image through RDP so I'm going to demonstrate in my uh, next video so continue watching this video I will see you in my video number six this is my video number five